two points. Your turn, Dale. Okay, Flash. Watch the expert. Five. Not bad. Not bad. One more good toss and I'll win the game. Don't count your chickens just yet. Gremlin, my dragon. You think you know what's going on here? <laughs> well, then, give it a whirl and let's see what you come up with. Eleven. Uh, are you sure he never played before? What would a dragon know about spacers? <laughs> he knows enough to have won another turn. Ah, uh, don't worry. It was only beginner's luck. <laughs> Lucky, huh? Gremlin wins. I'll never live it down. Beaten at spacers by a pink dragon. And by your co-pilot, Flash, you finished last. Well, at least I'm not a sore loser. No, I don't want to play again. Saved by the bell. I'd better see what's happening. Hey, we've got something coming in on the scanner. Can you make it out? A huge size, very little density. Could be a space warp or, or a black hole. Well, let's steer clear of it. The controls are not responding. We're being drawn right into the middle of that thing. The engines are overheating. We don't have enough power to pull away from this force field. Way through. Now all we have to do is get out the other side. Let me see if there isn't some... Flash! All right, Gremlin. Hit the particle beam scanner. We're going to find Flash. I'm Dale and the ship. It, it must have been a time warp. I, I could be anywhere. What's out there? It's humanoid. Terrific. That can't be. Something is definitely wrong here. With the engines back up to power, I think we can make it out of here. Are you ready, Gremlin? Then, here we go. It works! We're moving! This is Zarko calling Flash and Dale. Come in, please. Dale, are you all right? We were tracking you on the long-range scanner, and then that cloud appeared, and the ship disappeared. Flash is gone! What do you mean, gone? In the middle of that cloud. He, he just vanished from the bridge. That's astounding. Dr. Zarkov, Flash is somewhere inside that cloud. We, we've got to figure a way to get him back out. I've got to know if what I saw was real, or if I'm just seeing things. Welcome, Flash Gordon, to the negative side of the universe. Who are you? I am you. <laughs> it's pointless to try and fight me. Enough of this game. Quickly, I have him. Take him back to the stronghold. Make sure you treat my other half well. <laughs> Dale, your computer tapes have given me an idea. It's very dangerous, but it's the only way to save Flash. Let's hear it. I believe if you readjust the antimatter parts in the middle of that cloud, you and the ship will go into that other dimension and hopefully find Flash. 
But, but if you're wrong, our atoms could be spread out all over the universe, right? I'm afraid so. You'll be taking a big chance. It's the only way to save Flash, Doctor. We're on our way. Come on, Gremlin. We're going back into that cloud. Open it. I hope you find your accommodations suitable. I would have preferred a room with a view, but I guess this will just have to do. We do have quite a sense of humor, don't we? <laughs> Why do you keep insisting you were me? Because I am. Just as there is a positive and negative side to a magnet, it's true of a man. I am the negative side of you. This just can't be. Oh, but it is. And when they come to rescue you, they'll rescue me. And then I'm going back to your world and conquer it. <laughs> I think skeletons like you are best kept in the closet. <laughs> People who live in force fields shouldn't throw boomerangs. Bring him back. Stop him. Now or never. He won't go far. Call out all of my guards. We're going after him. Are you ready on those antimatter pods, Grim? Yep, 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 yep. We should start to feel it any time now. Let's hope this ship holds together, Grim. We're in it now. Can't be far. I'll never lose in this way. I better help the odds a little. Any sign of him? Nothing yet. You boys just aren't looking hard enough. I better lose this bird. He should have taken driver's training. We made it. Don't ask me where, but we're here. Now all we have to do is find Flash. I'll bring the ship down to hover speed. You watch the scanner. Now I've got him. I'm going to enjoy this. Ha! I've got you now, Gordon. What is it? It's Flash! We found him! Prepare for touchdown. You're all right. 
Dale, Gremlin, am I glad to see you. No, Dale, get back. He's an imposter. What in the world? Two identical flashes. But which is the real flash? He's the fake. Don't listen to him. He's dangerous. We've no time to lose. Quick, circle behind those rocks. We'll surround him. No, Dale, it's a trap. Take care of yourself while you still can. Flash, are you all right? Oh, sure. Just don't let me look into any mirrors. My reflection might scare me. That's our Flash. But, Dale, how did you decide between me and the imposter? Well, you're the one who told me to take care of myself. Only the real Flash Gordon would put the safety of others above his own. And besides, you two didn't look that much alike. We didn't? Oh, no. The other Flash was a lot better looking. <laughs> drive through the country on a Sunday afternoon. In case you hadn't noticed, Flash, we're rocketing through hyperspace on Saturday morning. Picky, picky, picky. But at least Gremlin's enjoying the ride. drivers like that, the skies aren't fit for travel. Good idea, Gremlin. Buckle up for safety. Okay, stunt pilot. Give me a crack at the wheel. I'd love to, Dale, but I can. Why not? Because I've just lost control of the ship. <laughs> Activate reserve boosters. Booster power, zero. Touchdown. Where in Mongo are we? On the unexplored continent, Earthlings. Ming, I might have known. How did you get us here? You flatter me, Flash Gordon, but I can't take credit for this bit of trickery, evil though it may be. Then who or what brought us here? Uh-oh, here comes our answer. <laughs> ah, fearless Flash Gordon, welcome. And you too, Merciless Ming and Dale Arden. You know who we are? Of course. Everyone knows the two most powerful men and the most beautiful woman on all of Mongo. What's with the flattery? I think we're supposed to read between the lines. I suppose you're wondering why I've brought you all here. It did cross my mind. It's simple, my friends. I, the great warrior, have brought you here to render you powerless. <laughs> Render Ming the merciless powerless, you fool. No one can do that. I'll not stay and listen to such nonsense. Who else doubts my abilities? Okay, okay, we'll take your word for it. Perceptive of you. I want to get back to Arborea. I think our host would object. Quite the contrary, Mr. Gordon. I'm going to let you escape. I can't believe that. Once I was the greatest warrior of all my people. But when it came time to lead them in battle, I failed. I ran. I was a deserter. 
And now, the only way to prove my courage is to destroy the two most powerful men on Mongo. Oh, I plan to release you all, and then hunt you down. A little cat and mouse game, is it? Precisely. If you survive the unexplored continent and return to your ships, you've won. What do we win? We shall see. <laughs> Let us proceed. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but maybe you'd better stay with us, Ming. Safety and numbers and all that. <laughs> with my wit and cunning, I'll be home before you've started. Let the warrior find you, then I'll be rid of you. <laughs> These natural enemies will defeat each other before I even enter the hunt. I've heard of working your way up in the world, but this is ridiculous. It's lonely at the top, and I intend to keep it that way. Gremlin! What's wrong, pal? Thanks, Gremlin. That fire-breathing pest. I haven't lost yet, Flash Gordon. Nor have I, Ming. It's time for me to enter the chase. Water, water everywhere, and not a boat in sight. Any ideas on how to cross? Wish I had his water wings. Give me the freeze ray, Flash. Ice skating, anyone? Little do they know they've helped me as well. Not so fast, my friend. Help! I'm drowning! Well, a fiend in need is a fiend indeed. Help! Help! Nice roping, partner. Shucks, ma'am, it weren't nothing. Gordon's fair play impresses me. Maybe you'll do the same for us sometime, Ming. That chance. <coughs> yes, yes. Maybe if the tables were turned. But it is my turn next. I'm not falling for that old gag, Ming. Neither am I. No, oh, it's no joke, you fools. This is my way of repaying you for saving my life. Cross over, my friends. It's safe. I got across, didn't I? Well, after all, Dale, anybody can change. Even Ming? Hardly. Let's see what he's up to. should have known better than to trust Mean the Merciless. <laughs> I never did like to be left hanging. Let's try to swing to the other side. I think 
we've made him angry. Let's get out of here. Unpleasant surprise. Looks like we've won the game. Not so fast, my friend. You're not going anywhere. The game is indeed over, and I've won. Just what have you won? You won't show any courage by destroying three unarmed people. We've survived your test. Don't listen to them. I can use a man like you in my army. In Arborea, we don't judge a man by strength and power alone. He must lead a good life as well. You can lead a good life with me, a supreme high commander of all my armies. It's not too late. Come back with us to Arborea and start a new life. Leave them here and return to Magnetic Mountain with the most powerful man of Mongol. Oh. I will join the most powerful man on Mongo. Flash Gordon. You have won again, Gordon. But someday we'll play a little cat and mouse game of our own. I turned on the automatic pilot so I won't miss the in-flight refreshments. Ah, here's the flight attendant now. Well, what'll it be? Coffee, tea, or dragon's milk? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 